our fathers were close friends and we were four years old. Chris may not remember the day, I remember it vividly, where our parents met and they took us to a ball field uh, near Chris's home and put us out on the field with, with bats and balls and gloves and said, go play. We've been best friends ever since and uh, we've always wanted to sort of do something together and always have had a great love of the state of Alabama and uh, this sort of found us. The Sunday after the tornadoes, we loaded up a trailer full of goods and drove to Coleman, Alabama. When we were uh, dis dissuaded by some organizations, we decided to take into our own hands what we could do to help the community out. And so on the ride home, Alabama Forever was formed in my head. I made a phone call to uh, two dear friends of mine and it was formed that afternoon. I could hear his passion from the first phone call. It came to me that Alex was serious when he said, I'm quitting my job. So then it hit me that he needs help and wants my help and I want to help and I gave him my word and my commitment. We wanted to operate as a grassroots organization to where we could directly affect the community where other people had gotten in the way. We wanted to give straight back to the community. We both agree that there's going to be a long-term need and even bigger needs for rebuilding down the road, that these things aren't going to happen in weeks in these small, especially the small communities. When this storm is gone from the front pages, which three weeks later it, it seemingly is gone from the national media, and we're in, a, in this for the long haul to raise awareness that we don't want the small towns going off the map just because of some devastation. There's too many good people in this state, too many good people in these communities, and uh, knowing the roots and the background with some of these people here, there's no reason for that for this city to disappear. We want to be around when they rebuild to see where we can help with businesses or job growth or getting people into this community. To us, that's the meaning of Alabama and what we're trying to, to get out there nationally and, and make people realize that the resiliency of our state is what's making this disaster actually bearable for these, for these small towns and we just hope to be a small part of that.